Hey guys, it's Hogan here and I just wanted to make a really quick video showing you guys how you can add a drag and drop table onto your WordPress website. So the great thing about this WordPress plugin is that you can easily just drag and drop and you can easily style it. So unlike other ones where you're editing on the back end, this one you can do on the front end. So without getting um, too much into it, let's just get started and I just want to show you guys quickly how to use it and add it onto your WordPress website. So you can use it for like your affiliate websites or you know you could be uh, comparing different products and services for your own business as well. So just go back to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard. So this plugin is a free plugin as well. So just go to plugins and click on add new. And then the plugin that we're going to search for is going to be WP Table Builder. So over here on the right hand side, WP Table Builder and then click on enter. So it's this one over here, right, with this icon and it has been uh, downloaded over 30,000 times. So just install that and then make sure you activate that after you install it. So I already have that on my computer. So let's just go to all tables. So here is where you manage your tables. So let's just go ahead and add a new one. So click on add new. So then over here, the first thing that you probably want to do is just name your table. So let's just do, for example, affiliates comparison. Okay. And then just select the blank one. So with these ones over here, these are templates. So I believe these ones come with the pro version. So if you do want to get that, leave the link in the description below, but most of the things is uh, available on the basic version. So you don't really need that to be honest. Let's click on blank and then we're going to set the rows and columns. So let's just do one, two, three, maybe five and then five rows as well. Okay. So you can add more later. So don't worry about it. If um, you're not quite sure how many you want to add, click on generate. Okay. So over here you have everything here, so you can just click on it, right? So you can add in a title. So this could be like a uh, products or brand like that. And over here, you can just click on the styling, uh, bold, italic. You can also center it. You can also change the size, just click on it. And then we can change the font size just by sort of dragging it over here. You can change it to 20 and then you can also duplicate it as well. So if you don't want to, you know, add it in and then style it, you can just duplicate it. Let's just do it maybe a few times and then just move it across. Oops, grab it. Um, one second. Okay. And then drag this one over here. Sometimes it does that. So we can move that over and then you can change, uh, the text inside. So for example, the products, we could have maybe just like the features and then this one could be pros and then cons and then maybe like overall rating. Okay. And then once you have done that, then you can also add in buttons. You can add in a list. So for example, if you want to add like a features list, then we could just drop that in like that. Okay. So you can just fill that in. I'm not going to do it now. Um, and then you can also add in star rating. So you can drop in your star rating over here, put that here like that and delete the bottom one. And then let's just do maybe five star. Okay. So as you can see over here, you can also change the star count. So you can do 10 or anything like that. As you can see, it's sort of, uh, we need to actually change the, the column width a little bit. Otherwise it's a little bit stuck. So you can also change the star size maybe. So let's just change it down to 15. Okay. Like that. And I'll show you how to, uh, sort of change the background and also manage the column width as well. Let's just go back over here and you can also add an image. So let's just say, for example, you want to add like a logo or something you're promoting, uh, hosting. So let's just do maybe site ground like that. Delete that on top. Okay. So you can just quickly add those in like that. Okay. So you can also add like an Amazon product as well. So you can add it in as an image or you can copy it over as a HTML. So if you guys want to add your Amazon product, then you may need to actually sign up for the Amazon associates site stripe. And once you find the product that you want to promote, then over here on the top, you can click on get text and image. I'm just going to get the image of the product. So we'll just click on image and that's going to generate sort of like a HTML code. So we can just copy that or we can select the image as well. Uh, the image size, sorry. And then just copy that to your clipboard, come back to your table and we can use the HTML. 
okay, over here, and let's just, maybe let's just put it above over here, and then just paste in the custom HTML, and then it should show the keyboard, right? So we can, perhaps we can just delete that one, and maybe you can add a title below that if you need to. You can also add a button, so we can add one over here, and we could do something like, let's just change the button text, and we can just do like, purchase here or you know go to Amazon or anything like that so let's just change it to small and then you can also change the button color to something like that okay so you can edit it however you like it's really easy to edit then the next thing that you probably want to know is let's just say for example you want to link it so you just put the link over here right so we can just go over here let's just say you want to link it then we can just click on the text link Okay, and then just copy that. And this is gonna work the same with your other affiliate links as well. Just paste that in like that. And then you probably wanna do a nofollow because it's a affiliate link. And then I probably want to open it in a new tab because I want people to stay on my website. So you can set that in and you can adjust things like that. Right, it's really, really simple to use. You can also change the button hover colors as well, as well as adding in an icon over here, okay? So once you have done that, then we're just going to click on save the table for a second. Then you can fill out the rest. So let's just say, for example, you want to add a new row or column because you figured out, okay, maybe you need an extra one. Then just go to manage cells and we can add one column to the right hand side if we want to, or we could add a row. So let's just say, for example, we want to add a bottom row so you can add that in and then it'll have an extra one for you. Right, so you can just click on it if you want to delete it. So click on it and then you can remove the row and it will be deleted, right? Really, really easy. You want to add a column to the left and you can add one to the left like that. Let's just delete that one and then let's just click on close, okay? So we can also adjust the background. So click on background over here and let's just say you want to change the color to sort of blend in with your overall scheme of your website. So let's just click on the top over here, the header background, we can change it to let's say a nice little blue like that. And you can also change the sort of even row and odd row backgrounds as well. So let's just say you want it all to be maybe white. So let's just change it to white like that. The odd row, let's just change it to white as well. So it's just nice clean background. And let's just click over here. So we're gonna change the color to white. The same for every one of them. Then we can just click on the manage cells and click over here right on the the column and then we can change the column width like that so we can edit it specifically so maybe you want to make it a little bit bigger because you have a lot of text in there um, you can sort of adjust that as well same with the row height as well let's click on save table and then we can click on close so let's just say you are ready then the next thing that you want to do is before you embed it you want to click on responsive and you wanna see how it looks on your tablets and also mobile devices. So generally I just click on enable responsive table and everything is gonna be responsive, okay, like that. And you can check it on mobile as well. Okay, so that's looking okay. And you can also adjust it um, sort of how you want it as well over here. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, you can play around with how you wanna display it. Generally by default, it's okay, okay. So let's click on save table and let's say we can preview it as well to see what that sort of looks like. Okay, so that's looking good. So if you want to embed it, just click on embed and then that's going to give you sort of like a short code that you can add into like your text module. So whatever builder that you're using, you can use it. Uh, so for some reason it's not loading. Okay, so let's just close that for now. Okay, so you can also get the short code over here as well. So just copy that. So just navigate to all tables. And then let's just go to visit site. And then this is the one that I did earlier. So let's just turn on the builder. So you can add it into like the post as well, as well as on pages. So let's just drag a new text module on the bottom, paste in that short code, click on done and save, close it, scroll down to the bottom, and then you've added that table there like that. So if we actually resize it, then it should resize down as well. And you can adjust everything um, to your liking. 
So that is pretty much it for this video. You can also add the pros and cons. I think that comes with the pro version. Um, you can also do like a scheduling thing and you can check out some of the different examples over here and you can try and recreate it um, as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to create a really quick video to show you briefly how to use it because I think it's useful. Some other ones are good as well, uh, which is like for very, very sort of simple um, tables that you may need. But this one, you can just easily sort of drag it and style it as well. Like for example, you can also add like a background color and you can also add the different ticks and things like that. Um, but I think that's in the pro version. You can also just add like a image as your icon as well. So instead of, you know, purchasing the pro version, you can do that. And yeah, so thank you guys and see you guys in the next video.